fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver. The Lone Ranger. This is a story of one of the most mysterious characters to appear in the early days of the West. He was a fabulous individual, a man whose presence brought fear to the lawless and hope to those who wanted to make this frontier land their home. He was known as the Lone Ranger. Before his coming, this new land of the West was a wild, unruly territory into which brave American pioneers moved in covered wagons, on horseback and afoot. Theirs was a rugged existence, but they not only had to settle and build, they had to fight. Here beyond the reach of law and order, might was right. The best shot was the best man. Born of necessity in this chaotic period of westward expansion, an organization was developed to combat the evil forces of the times. An organization called the Texas Rangers. Ever on the job of maintaining law and order, six Texas Rangers ride alertly across a western landscape. All are courageous, straight-shooting men. At their head is a stranger, a half-breed scout, who one day earlier had appeared at a ranger encampment, suffering from a severe wound. There you are, Collins. Nothing to worry about now. Thanks, Captain. I should worry about a wound. I'm lucky to be alive. You're right. Very few people are after those outlaws have struck. So they killed everybody at the trading post. Everyone. Mrs. Simpson, his wife, the young Indian helper, even old Pete McHenry. That's too bad. How about the outlaws? Any of them get shot? Four of them were in pretty bad shape. They had to be tied to their horses to ride away. I got two of them myself. Too bad you couldn't hit more of them. Which way did they go? They rode up north into the Badlands. That's pretty rough country. But with wounded men in tow, they can't travel very fast. We got a chance to catch them. But they have a five-hour start. Even if you overtook them, they outnumber you. Mister, the Rangers are used to long odds. How about you? You could use your help in locating their trail if you feel strong enough to ride. I don't need two arms to guide a horse. Besides, I've a score to even up, too. I'll go along. Good man. Boys, pack five days' rations. We've got ten minutes to be in the saddle. Right. Bill, send Captain Reed to me. He's leading your detachment. Yes, sir. So came the half-breed Collins, who rides with a detachment of rangers after the most ruthless outlaw band in the West, the notorious Cavendish Gang. It's their trail, Reed. Yeah. And it indicates they're riding slowly as we figured. Yes, it does. Let's go, boys. Gained on them. These tracks can't be more than three hours old. They're heading off into that canyon. Yeah, it looks that way. Have you been in this vicinity before? A couple of times. I think it might be a good idea for us to check that canyon from the rim first. I'll go ahead and scout the place. One man would be a lot less noticeable than all of us going. All right. We'll wait here and give the horses a rest. The smart man. Hold it, mister. Reach. Hello, Whitey. Ah, oh, it's you. The new man, huh? Yeah, it's me. How's the plan going? All right. The rangers are back at the canyon entrance. 
You think they'll keep on coming? Sure, why not? They're pretty smart umbers, you know. Yeah. We've tried to get them before. Didn't pan out. I wasn't with you then. Where's Cavendish? He's up there a ways. Leave your horse here. All right. I knew they'd fall for my little trap, Collins. <laughs> that bullet I put in your arm really convinced them. Yeah, Cavendish. It sure did. When I get through around here, it's going to be a long time before any ranger outfit patrols in this section of the country. We're going to make this something they won't forget. Is the ambush all set? Take a gander over there. My men could slaughter a whole army from up here. It looks good to me. Now, we're going to hold our fire until the lawmen ride in directly below us. Jerry, you tell the boys I'll shoot first. That'll be the signal to open up on the rangers. Right. And Jerry, when a man goes down, I won't let to be kept pouring into him until he looks like a sieve. You got that straight? You back. Come on, Blackie. All right. Collins, you're doing a good job for a new man. Thanks, Keith. I'll get back there and bring on the Texas Rangers. Yeah, sure. See anything? Yes, but not on the rim. The Cavendish outfit is just leaving the far side of the canyon, about four miles off. Are you sure? I saw their dust. Good. Here we go, men. Taking a wrong turn. Look up there, it's a head wall. No passage through here. See, where's Collins? He's right behind us while ago I saw him. Look! It's an ambush, men. Spread out and find cover quick. Peter Collins.
You got them all. Good. Go on back to your horse. We'll wait for you up here. He was one of us, Chief. He was. Any man who had betrayed those rangers might be just as quick to turn on us, I figure. And no one does that. That's going to be a nice little reminder for anybody who tries to stop me from now on. Yeah. Now, let's get out of here. Got a lot of work to do in Colby. Many hours after the Cavendish gang has left the ambush scene, a lone figure moves painfully over the rock-strewn ground. A small spring gurgling in a shady cave is his destination. He alone of the six Texas Rangers still lives. His one aim is to reach water and shade. Desperately, he fights off the weakness from loss of blood, which threatens to halt his progress. It is deathly hot. The sun beats down unmercifully. Ahead is that cooling, life-giving water. If his strength can only last. Foot by foot, sheer torture, he pulls himself along. There, out of the hot glare of the sun, only a short distance farther. There's the spring. Now his bandana. There. Cold water never felt better. Never seemed sweeter than now. A hundred yards away, Colin stirs, unaware of the existence of the spring and the ranger who lies beside it. He, too, miraculously has escaped a mortal wound from a Cavendish bullet. And he, too, like the ranger, knows that death lurks in the hot rays of the sun. He must seek shelter somewhere, quickly, within the confines of the canyon. Weakly, he stumbles off to find shade, to nurse his wounds. Then, as if timed by fate, a third figure, an Indian, enters the hot canyon. Surprised, he sees the results of the Cavendish gang's handiwork. Texas Rangers, sprawled in attitudes of violent death. These were men to whom heroic deeds were a part of each day's work. And now their work was done. Then, by chance, the native spies the figure lying beside the distant pool. He moves forward. I still mean not hurt you. Why, you, you Kimo Sabe. Kimo Sabe? That sounds familiar. That's right, Kimo Sabe. You trusty scout. Trusty scout? Yes, Ranger. Long time back when we both young. Me remember time Indian camp burned. Renegade Indians raid settlement when men of tribe away. Kill my mother, my sisters. They leave me for dead. You found me, nursed me back to health. Save me from dying. When me well, you give me horse to go find my father. Me take horse only when you accept gift. My ring, it make good luck. Me call you Kimo Sabe. It mean trusty scout. Me never forget you. You remember now? Yes. You... You're Tonto. That's right. Me, Tonto. Now me take care of you. Immediately, the Indian, Tonto, unsaddles his horse and sets up a camp at the entrance of the cave near the pool and the injured man. 
The ranger's wounds are cleansed and expertly dressed by the Indian, who calls upon all the lore he knows to ease his white friend's suffering. Several days of patient vigil, tender care, and careful feeding bring results. The ranger gradually regains his strength. He is going to live. Tonto, I guess I drifted off again. How long have I been here now? Three days. How you feel? Still a little weak. The other rangers, Tonto, all dead. Mm. One of them, Captain Reed, was my brother. Too bad. Rangers all fine men. We didn't have a chance, Tonto. It was a perfect ambush and double cross. How did you happen to find me? Me hunt here in Canyon often. Ride in here on scout over yonder. Find rangers and dead horse. I see. While you sleep, me bury other rangers over there. Make grave for men. Bring belongings here. That was good of you, Tonto. Them brave men. Yes, they were brave. And they won't be forgotten. I've spent a lot of time thinking. For every one of those men, I'm going to bring a hundred lawbreakers to justice. I'll make that Cavendish gang and every criminal that I can find, for that matter, regret the day those rangers were killed. Tonto, from this moment on, I'm going to devote my life to establishing law and order in this new frontier to make the West a decent place to live. That good. But when Cavendish gang knew you escape ambush, you marked man. They hunt you down, many against one. No one is going to know I'm alive. I'm supposed to be dead, and I'm going to stay that way. I'll hide my identity somehow. I'll wear a disguise of some sort. You mean like mask? That's it, Tonto. From now on, I'll wear a mask. Let's see. There ought to be some material here I can use. Here. This. My brother's vest. Belong to one of the bravest of them all. Me help, Kimosabi. You rest now. All right, Tonto. Thanks. There, face wounds all healed now. Let me have the mask. There. It fits perfectly. Good job, Tonto. Here hat, me washing stream, dry in sun, make whiter. Thanks, Otto. Here gun to kill bad men. I'm not going to do any killing. You will not defend yourself? Oh, I'll shoot if I have to. But I'll shoot to wound, not to kill. A man must die, it's up to the law to decide that. Not the person behind a six-shooter. That's right, Kimosabi. Well, there's just one more thing to be done. What's that? Dig another grave. Out there. Who that's for? That'll be my grave. There. Just like others. That's good. Only you, Tano, know I'm alive. To the world, I'll be buried here. Beside my brother and my friends. Forever. You all alone now. Last man. You are a lone ranger. Yes, Tonto. I am a lone ranger. Kimosabe, me help you fight outlaw. But Tonto, don't you have a family? Anyone? No. Me lone like you. Me want law here too. For all. All right, Tonto. You'll be a lot of help. We'll ride together. Me glad, Kimusabi. Me fight good for you. Take cover, Tonto. That's Collins, the man that led us into ambush. Why him shoot? Undoubtedly, he's after your horse. Collins must have been deserted by the outlaws. He's probably been making his way to that vantage point for some time now. Why him go there, Kimusabi? He knows the only way to get scout is to kill us. He is well protected up there. What do we do now? I'm going to keep him back under cover while you make a run for scout. 
Take Scout into the cave. Collins won't be able to see you from there. Me do. I'll follow Toto as soon as you're safe. All right? Run! I didn't try. We're going to capture him alive. That hard? Him in good spot? Yes, but I have an idea how we can do it. You start up the cliff on that side. First tie up Scout. I'll try to draw his fire from the other side of the rocks. Ranger triumph as he fights on for justice, law, and order. Be with the Lone Ranger and Tonto same time next week for new dangers in another thrill-packed adventure. The Lone Ranger rides again. <laughs>